I am a proud turtle mom, but I am also not afraid to admit that turtles make the worst pets ever. Well, not the worst, but one of the worst pets ever. The thing is that I have been really showing off my turtles lately. I've been doing a lot of turtle videos, showing them off and just like how cute they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and add little one in her enclosure. She <laughs> turtle pee <laughs> every time. Hi Penelope. Hi. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of emails and comments on my videos, DMs on Instagram, and messages on Facebook. You guys have been contacting me all over the place asking me where to get turtles. I feel kind of responsible for this and not in a good way. I've only like shown you guys like the positive side of keeping turtles and yes there definitely are lots of reasons why you would want a turtle but there's a bajillion reasons why they make absolutely terrible pets so before you move on with your decision of getting a pet turtle i feel like you need to watch this video and make sure that despite all of this and more i mean i'm not gonna put everything bad about keeping turtles in one video but i just hope this video helps you make a good decision okay so let's get started reason number one size turtles don't stay this small and cute forever trust me on this look who I brought outside <laughs> Yep, believe it or not, she has been that big since she was about three years old. So it doesn't really take long for that to happen. I mean, it depends a lot on the type of turtle, the species, the genetics. A lot goes into that. To be fair, there's a lot of turtle species that do stay smaller. There's musk turtles, mud turtles, box turtles. So if you're looking for a smaller turtle, then definitely read up on one of those. Reason number two, set up. Oh my god, the setup. For example, the red-eared slider. I think it's the turtle most commonly owned worldwide. It's actually quite an invasive species of turtle due to people releasing them into the wild when they can't care for them anymore or don't want them anymore or realize that they don't make good pets. And unfortunately, because of irresponsible people like that, they are causing big problems in the ecosystem and messing with native turtle species all around the world. They're messing with the population. They're competing for food, territory, and they're breeding with native species and creating hybrids. And that's just like a whole nother topic. Anyways, where I was going with this is where your sliders are so cheap. So, so cheap. I've seen three hatchlings for $10. You can even find them for free on like Craigslist. It's from people that really just don't want their pet turtles anymore. They will literally give them away for free with their setup and lighting and food. It's just sad. The reason for that isn't necessarily because they're so common. It's actually because they require very expensive setups. You can spend ten dollars five dollars even get a turtle for free but you will probably spend at least three hundred dollars on their setup so is that really a cheap pet no and they require knowledge like you need to read up on their care their diet needs their lighting and just no <laughs> When they're this tiny, you can put them in any size tank. Like I said, they don't stay this tiny. So again, depending on the turtle species and their habitat in the wild will depend on the type of setup that you need to set up. For example, rare sliders require huge setups. In my opinion, tubs or kiddie pools are 
a better option can't really have those indoors and if you do choose to go with a big aquarium just remember that turtles eat Fish. turtles will eat anything that you try and put in there with them you could try having multiple turtles in one setup but just be ready to have to separate them with time because they do fight when they reach sexual maturity if you have more than one male they will fight probably most likely and if you have a male and a female then the male will just never leave a female alone and that will also lead to aggression and for some reason if you have a female and a female they still fight for territory and food turtles are just not friendly another thing is the lighting see if you're keeping your turtle indoors you need to buy the uvb bulb because they absolutely need it to properly absorb calcium they need it for their shells to have strong healthy shells if you don't provide uvb light for your turtle then they can and probably will develop metabolic bone disease which is just a very painful slow terrible death for turtles and why would you do that to a turtle why would you do that to something you love and then they need the heat lamp to digest food properly so if you're keeping your turtle indoors you need a huge setup you need a uvb bowl you need a heat lamp and you need a proper basking area so that's like a whole another problem see the commercially sold ones i feel aren't really targeted towards adult turtles so adult turtles are big and heavy and these basking platforms are either tiny or cannot handle their weight so a lot of times you have to make your own and i mean there's a bajillion ways you can make your own i have a video on it or you could just do a google search and find a bajillion DIYs on how to make basking areas for your turtle so that's not really a problem but that's another thing you have to worry about the basking area reason number three handling turtles are not cuddling turtles really do not like being handled they shouldn't be handled it stresses them out they're the kind of pet that you kind of love and appreciate and have respect for from a distance of course there's exceptions to that there's a especially now the more heavily selective bred lineages of turtles are definitely a lot tamer than wild turtles so a lot of turtles in captivity are tame i have one you guys know tito he is just such a sweetheart i absolutely adore him and we have just this like special bond and there is tito bear he wants me to carry him like he is such a mama's boy but not all turtles are like that take Penelope for example well, look what she's gonna do when I try and touch her. Oop. Oh my god. Yeah. Of course, you can work with them and try taming methods, and you probably could, but just know that not all turtles can be tamed 100%. Plus, think of all the stress that you'll be causing them during the process. You know, I think it's best to just let them be. Reason number four their diet. So most turtles are extremely picky eaters. One thing that you'll find when you finally have your turtle is you know, because you did your research, what they should be eating, what's best for them, what's healthy for them, but your turtle won't care. <laughs> like sliders, for example, do great on an all pellet diet, except that's not healthy for them. You need to vary their diet. And actually, pellets are very high in protein, which is very bad for them. This is when they require the most protein because they are growing. The most commercial turtle pellets are just too high in protein for adult turtles. So adult sliders should really not be eating pellets too often. Good luck getting your turtle to eat healthy. <laughs> Nah, they're not gonna make that easy for you. <laughs> I have the mealworm in one hand and the piece of apple in the other hand. So right there, right when it opens its mouth, I trick her <laughs> with the piece of vegetable. Another thing is that a lot of turtle species, especially the more exotic turtle species, never adapt to a pellet diet they require live feedings meaning you'll have to feed your turtle live fish or invertebrates or live animals 
basically and if you're really like soft and that's probably not for you but just understand that there is a food chain and turtles are part of that food chain and there's animals under that food chain if you're going to keep an animal in captivity then you at least need to provide the proper dietary needs no matter what they are reason number five the salmonella dilemma so yes, turtles are a reptile and a lot of reptiles carry salmonella. Turtles are no exception to that. Even if you keep your turtle in extremely sterile conditions and then they're clean and you keep them clean, it's just best to automatically assume that all turtles carry salmonella. It's better safe than sorry, right? So assuming that all turtles carry salmonella, which most do, you need to keep that in mind when handling them. And after handling them and they're set up, this is dangerous. And if you have a big family, like you could be putting them at risk. Yes, I know you guys have seen me kiss my turtles. Um, that's a risk I'm taking. I admit I should not be doing that, but I've always just kind of done it and nothing has gone wrong, thankfully. <laughs> after handling your turtle, you should wash your hands with soap and water. Don't kiss your turtle. <laughs> don't lick your turtle wherever you place your turtle just clean up afterwards if you set your turtle down in the kitchen counter just wipe it down afterwards and throw away the paper towel so yes salmonella is a risk reason number six turtles are a long-term commitment some species of turtles can live more than 50 years and some can live even more than 100 years so this little one can and probably and you know hopefully will live longer than me some pet turtles i think you should actually consider at one point or another who you are going to leave with after you die it's a possibility i plan to grow old with my turtles i plan to still have them when i'm like wrinkled and have like white hairs and probably i'm out of shape <laughs> reason number seven turtle farms they're terrible most turtles in captivity and in the pet trade come from turtle farms so by buying turtles from certain places you're kind of contributing to that and making them a profit and it's terrible so turtle farms mass produce turtles they produce thousands of them per week they're a lot like puppy mills they keep them crammed in tiny containers in terrible conditions they ship them off across the world in terrible packaging and i mean they ship them really really young like hatched out of the egg sometimes and they get distributed into pet shops that's actually how most big chain pet shops get their turtles and i mean all they're worried about is making money off of this animal they don't really care where it comes from what health it's in how it got to them then heck they don't even keep them in proper conditions at those pet shops they you guys have seen them turtles in the pet industry suffer a lot and then people who have absolutely no idea on their care purchase them because they're just oh so cute and they take them home and they don't set them up properly and then these turtles that have suffered from birth continue to suffer for years in bad homes if you think about it, it's sad. A lot of pet turtles suffer their whole lives. So after watching all of this, if you still want a pet turtle, then just please do your research and get them from a good reputable source that cares about the animal, not just the money. Set them up properly, let them be, and love them from a distance. And maybe even from up close if they allow you to with time. And that's all I have to say about this, I guess. Share this video with everybody that you know so that we can raise awareness for turtles in the pet trade and in captivity and bad homes. And use the hashtag turtle lives matter and just get the word out on turtles and their care and why they don't make good pets so that hopefully they don't end up in bad homes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And drop a beautiful comment. Let me know what kind of turtle encounters you guys have had. Whether they're good or bad, I want to hear them. And also, if you guys are interested in this t-shirt, this is a new design. It says Turtle Mom and you can leave the glitter out if you don't like the glitter. Um, there's an option there. We have these available in men's, women's, and kids sizes. So go get yours now. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good day or a good night. And I love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, I am back with a new video. And today's video is a... Um, I don't... Blah. <laughs>
What are you doing? Don't bother me right now. 